so much for the sunny southeast. High winds and the heavy rain and the first championship meeting between these sides in over 100 years would be a day to forget. Cork played with the elements in the first half and raced into an early lead, thanks to this point from Daniel Goulding inside a minute. By the 18th minute, they were five up. The pick of the scores, this effort from Graham Canty, wearing three, but playing at centre-back. It was one of the moments of a disappointing encounter. Wexford rarely threatened in the opening period. Going back, Adrian Flynn scored their first of the game in the 19th minute. But all was not lost. A late rally which saw Eric Bradley and Kieran Ling reduce the arrears to just four at the break gave the home support a glimmer of hope. But the second half was a truly forgettable experience for the 6,700 souls who turned up. Wexford had the wind at their backs, but their lack of discipline presented Cork with three early frees, which were all converted. Those scores, along with this point from John Miskela, put the Leesiders in the driving seat once again. Matty Ford reduced the deficit to seven points in the 10th minute. Great score, but believe it or not, we didn't see another effort on target for another 29 minutes. There were opportunities like this one for the adventurous Graham Canty, but the weather and some wayward shooting meant it was a frustrating afternoon for everyone concerned. Substitute Ben Brosnan grabbed a late consolation score for the home side, but it was Kieran Sheehan who sealed a 12 points to 5 victory for Cork. They're safely through, but there's still a lot of work to be done. The conditions were terrible, you know, just absolute wind and rain and that, and it was difficult for everyone. But, you know, I think it was a good, hard game. You know, both teams fought it hard, and, you know, it was good from our point of view. You know, it was very competitive, and then hopefully stand to us going forward. Uh, I know you've been hinting maybe that this might be your last year. You're now out of the championship. Is it a bit too early to make a final decision, or, or have you decided what you're going to do from here on in? T today was about the team, so you know I'm not even going to talk about it, think about it, or do anything about that today. Um, we're all, you know, it's just, it's just all, you know, we're all too down to even think about anything like that. It's just um, teams, players, coaches, selectors, water carriers, everybody works so hard for championship football, and when you lose, it's just, uh, just such a blow because you, you, you train prepared to win and losing is just, uh, you know, it's, it's a horrible thing. All right, well, after the qualifiers there... They've been using 